unpopular opinion. Price per milliliter is a myth. Well, well, you didn't let me finish. If you already have multiple fragrances and you plan to get more. I believe that we're usually compelled to buy the largest bottle size of a fragrance if it's available for one of two reasons, maybe both. Number one, the price per milliliter bug has bitten us and we are simply afraid to not get a good deal. Number two, it's an emotional decision. If you do happen to try the fragrance ahead of time, you might love it or think you love it and then feel compelled to buy that largest bottle out of excitement. I cannot tell you how many people I've seen regret that. I'm one of them. I've mentioned this many times before, but purchasing the largest bottle size of a fragrance, which usually tends to be, you know, maybe 20 bucks more than a bottle size half as large. I know that sounds enticing. Unless you plan on wearing that fragrance multiple times a week, you're simply spending more money on more fragrance that you won't use. I've said this over and over. I hear this so much. It's a better deal to get the biggest size. No, 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 no. You are spending more money out of your bank account. And again, unless you plan on using that fragrance all the time, it's not a better deal. Now, perhaps you like to have a large amount of a fragrance so that you can go through it slowly over the course of a long period of time. I don't really believe that's much of a problem, Nonetheless, I still think that 50 milliliters is plenty for that. But you know, you do your thing. Now this conundrum typically plagues us in the designer market where we usually have a range of options for sizes. They can come in as little as 30 milliliter sizes and as much as 200 milliliter sizes. And just to show you that I've made this mistake, this is one of my favorite fragrances. Lomi the Owl Intense from Guerlain. Love this fragrance. Absolutely love this fragrance. However, in a vacuum, it would make total sense for me to have a 100 milliliter bottle. But in the context of my collection, which is hundreds of bottles, I don't need the 100 milliliter size. Again, even as much as I love it, that's not enough. That is an emotional decision. That is not enough for me to say, yes, I need 100 milliliters of this so that I never run out. No. I could have done just fine with a 50 milliliter bottle. I got a 100 milliliter bottle simply because it was the only one I could find at the time. It came in a gift set, which came with the body wash and maybe a little travel spray and things like that. And it just happened to be a 100 milliliter size. Otherwise, I would have bought a 50. I have a lot of the rest of the collection, which I also love in smaller sizes. And I actually am seeing a dent in those bottles because I have a chance of finishing them. And that's what I want to do. Now, I know what you're thinking. Niche perfume brands don't always offer options in terms of bottle size. There are a few exceptions. Here are a couple. This one is Argos, and they offer, I think, two sizes for every one of their fragrances. We have Triumph of Bacchus in the 100 milliliter size, and this cute little 30 milliliter size. Both beautiful. This is obviously cheaper. Some people might say, well, get this because this is the better deal. Again, not necessarily. The number doesn't matter, but it, let's say if you have more than 30 fragrances, you don't need this. No matter how much you love it, you don't need it. This is still gonna last you years if you strive to wear something different every day like I do, but maybe you don't. But I think if you have that many fragrances and you're getting more, then I would imagine you are trying to wear as many of them as you can, in which case, again, you'll have this bottle for a while. Here's another example. The House of Jacques Fott. They make a range of sizes from as little as 15 milliliters, so cute. And I have a 100 milliliter size of the same, but they also go up to 200. I do enjoy this fragrance, Velour Boise. Beautiful, woody, boozy, sweet, warm, spicy fragrance. Not the most standout, it does remind me of other things, but a great scent for the fall and the winter. But I don't love it enough to get the hugest size. This is more than enough. In fact, I might barely go through this guy over the course of the next 10 years. Again, simply because I wear different stuff all the time. Now, the only time, and I say this with absolute certainty, that I can truly condone getting the largest bottle size is if you plan to maintain a small collection. If you don't plan to get a ton of fragrances. And I know there's a lot of you out there. I see you saying that. Some of you have been this way from the beginning. You said, yeah, I've been collecting for you know a few years and I've kept my bottle collection down to like 10. I'm like, 
that is impressive. And some of you have shifted where you did have a ton and then you decided to downsize. Either way, if you have a small collection or if you're headed in the direction of a small collection, that's when I think it makes sense to get a large bottle size of a fragrance that you absolutely love that you know you're gonna get a ton of wear out of. You have a much easier time possibly finishing that fragrance instead of having it sit on a shelf in the dark for 30 years. It's made to be worn, not just made to sit and be looked at and collect dust. Now, I know some of you are thinking this very glaring point, the idea of discontinuation or reformulation. Mm dreaded words in this community. I can kind of soften around those two ideas, but for me, just personally, I don't really subscribe to those things. There's something that creates frenzy and panic and unnecessary urgency when we talk about those words, when we mention them. People lose their dang minds and feel like, well, I need to have this. So that I don't not have it. But do you really need it though? Again, me personally, I don't subscribe to these things. I don't really worry about them. There are more important things in life to me than not being able to have a certain fragrance, even if I love it. It's simply a nice luxury. I'll sleep just fine. So if my advice to you is not yet clear, let me reiterate it. Unless you fall into one of the exemptions that I mentioned earlier, that is, even with a large collection planning to wear fragrance multiple times a week because you love it, or striving to keep a smaller collection, therefore getting more wear out of your fragrances. Unless you fall into one of those categories, I'd say avoid larger bottle sizes. 30 to 50 milliliters is plenty. One thing I did forget to mention is that with niche brands, a lot of the time they default to 50 milliliters. So that's cool. But nonetheless, because you may not have an option, and honestly, that's not even because of that, you should be sampling and decanting first anyway. But especially if there's a niche fragrance that only comes in a large size, then yes, absolutely decant and sample first if you are interested. I meant to throw that in earlier, but here it is now. Anyway, that is my hot take on large bottle sizes. Again, I've talked about this before. I just wanted to reiterate it in its own little video as a PSA to live on the internet that will be easy to find and hopefully serve as a guide and as a just a subtle reminder. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you disagree, you disagree, but let's talk about it. No need to come at me personally. Just share your opinions. I'll share mine. Maybe we'll find a middle ground. Nonetheless, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.